Hey everybody, uh, a couple weeks ago I shot a video um, on the Allen Heath CQ-18. Uh, I was mixing two bands outside. Um, and I've got some questions on the videos about like the feedback assistant and like how that kind of stuff works. So what I wanted to do was take my CQ-18 that I've got here uh, with a microphone and a floor wedge and show you kind of how the feedback assistant works. Um, forgive my filming as I'm doing this holding my phone at the same time, but hopefully this gives you an idea of um, how you can use the feedback assistant to uh, make your show sound better. All right, so I've got my CQ-18 here and I'm gonna start from the beginning. I'm gonna go to quick start. I'm gonna pick like a rock band and hit recall, say yes. Um, so this kind of wipes out the mixer. Um, and if you look at that, I look at my configuration page and you can see that I've got things like drums, guitars, bass, vocals, things like that. Um, and I've got a vocals in 14, 15, 16. So I'm gonna take my microphone here and I'm gonna plug this into 14. Now, if I tap on 14 and look, hey, 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 one, two, one, two, hey, hey, I don't have much gain. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use my auto gain assistant. Check, check, hey, hey, one, two, yeah, yeah, one, two, hey. Hey, one, two. So that sets my gain. You notice it set me at 29. So if I get too loud, hey, hey, one, two. Yeah, hey, one, two. It brought me down a dB. So it's not a drastic gain change, but it is enough to make sure that you're not clipping, which is nice. Um, so now that I've got my gain set, I can look at my fader and I can bring up my, my volume. I plugged, I got a powered speaker here on the floor, plugged into my main output, two, two, one, two. Hey, hey, one, two, one, two. So if I look at my processing now on my vocal channel, you can see you just get like microphones and things like that, guitars. If I tap on that, I actually get my vocal processing. This is not flat. This is in addition to the vocal processing that's laid down there behind it because it's picked as a vocal channel. So I can pick this. I want to be more high pitch, more low pitch. Um, am I doing uh, lectern or choir or kind of things like that? So some basic kind of settings that does some processing behind it. I can turn on my compressor if I need to, set my EQ. Hey, hey, one, two, one, two. But for this, this sounds pretty good just as it is right there. Um, all right, so let's talk about the uh, feedback assistant. So if I go here to my fader and I click on an output um, and then I click on processing, so you can see on my main left right, which is what I'm plugged into, I have a parametric EQ and a feedback assistant. Now I can change that and put in a graphic EQ if I don't want either of these. Um, but for this, I'm doing the feedback assistant. So I'm gonna tap on that and I'm gonna open it up. Now you wanna make sure you, you look at your tabs up top to make sure you're on the correct feedback assistant, which I'm on the main left right. And the first thing I wanna do is I want to look at my detect button that says hold. Now that's kind of like the parking brake. If that is hold, if the hold is on, it's not allowing it to sense frequencies. Um, so I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna put this on fixed mode. So what fixed mode does is it finds the frequencies, drops them down and holds them and just keeps them in place. Um, live mode will drop the frequencies down and release them based on your live recovery time. Um, like if this is fast and we'll bring them back up. So first thing I'm gonna do is undo the hold, go to fixed mode, hey, hey, one, two. And I've got my powered speaker right here. I'm jamming this microphone down in the speaker and you can see, find some frequencies. Hey, hey, one, two, one, two. Hey, hey, one, two. All right, so even with that, that looks pretty drastic. Hey, hey. That's the nice thing about this feedback assistant. Most of them uh, from other brands sound very harsh and they, they hack the EQ pretty, pretty badly, but this did pretty good. Hey, hey, one, two, one, two. This still sounds pretty nice and full. Um, so I like that. If you don't like what it's done there, you can always go to adjust and you can also click on your filters and hit reset. And you can reset that particular filter. You can adjust the width of it um, if you know what you're doing with this. So this is kind of more like pro mode of the feedback assistant. Um, the wider your frequency is going to be, the more it's gonna hack out the sound. So I would be careful doing most of that stuff. So now I just took it all out, right? So it's all gone again. So I'm gonna go back here and let it take out some frequencies again. 
probably turn this up a little bit, make this a little bit easier here. Go back to my output processing. I'm on my main left, right. There we go. Two, two, one, two. Hey, hey. Yeah. All right. So that's pretty good. It pulled out some frequencies there. Now watch this. If I do live mode, it's going to keep my fixed frequencies there, but live is going to be those additional frequencies. So it will let go of them when it doesn't hear that note anymore. So I'm going to put this down in the, in the horn again. So you see, grab those frequencies and watch them go away. A lot of people think that with a feedback assistant, you're never going to hear feedback. That is not the case. This doesn't uh, replace the basics as far as mic and speaker placement. Um, you know, it's going to feed back and then the unit's going to catch it and then hopefully take them out. And so then if that's the case and you do it correctly. You know, there you go. Two, two, one, two. Hey, hey. Yeah. And that's, that's definitely louder than I would probably ever want it as a wedge. That's ripping. So there you go. Um, this gives you the ability to ring out your monitors or your main PA. Um, and then once you have that set, you could always hit detect and put the hold back on, which just keeps everything frozen in place. Um, it's not going to detect any more stuff. So that's how you can use the feedback assistant to make sure that your monitors are nice and clean and nothing's feeding back in your PA. Uh, if you have any questions, just, you know, put them in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.